Hey there. Hey, Bridget Kell here. Um, I wanted to thank you, first of all, for stopping by our booth at the Pinners Conference. Um, and I wanted to do this quick video to show you how to use the samples that you purchased from our booth. So depending on which trio you might have gotten, um, I'm gonna show you, demonstrate the um, Deep Pour Trio. So this is the cleanser, freshener, and moisturizer here. And um, I do, before I forget, I wanna say save these, because if you travel and you can refill these, if you do end up purchasing a full-size trio. So it's the perfect travel size. So I'm just gonna go through the uh, my routine here using the sample size and so you can know exactly what it would look like. Now if, you're, if you got the blemish prone trio, um, it would just be a few different products, but I can walk you through that if that's something you got. So I'm gonna use um, a dime to nickel size amount of cleanser and our products are super con concentrated since aloe is the first ingredient and not water. So you don't need a whole lot. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. Normally I would just be doing this, you know, over the sink here. So I'm just gonna scrub that together and then just scrub my face with it. Um, all the colors in the products come from plants. Um, so, and the smells come from plants and botanicals. So there's nothing artificial or synthetic in our products. So I'm just scrubbing everywhere. Um, and if you buy a five piece set of the full size products, it does come with a little sponge here, um, but I didn't get it wet. It does, when it dries, it does get really hard. So it takes just a few seconds to um, soften up. So I just got a wet washcloth here and I'm just wiping that cleanser off. Normally I would just go underneath the sink and wipe it off with water, but um, I'm just doing it like this so you can, so I can do it in here in the in the um, camera. <laughs> so it's safe to use the cleanser on your around your eyes and everywhere. So um, that is all you do there for the cleanser, and then the next step is the freshener. So for this, you just get a cotton ball or a cotton round. I have this reusable facial facial pad that I use. So um, I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, uh, a little few drops. But yeah, like you can use a um, cotton ball or a cotton pad, which is totally fine. I just use these because um, I can wash them and reuse them. <laughs> the the um, freshener, what it does is it opens up the pores. So whenever you get to your other your other products, um, they sink in deeper. It also balances the pH of your skin again. So whenever you cleanse, it disrupts the pH. And when the freshener, it kind of balances it back out. So if you think of a hot tub, um, you have to put chemicals in there and certain things to balance out the pH so then bacteria doesn't grow. That's kind of like with our face. You want to balance out the pH so then you don't start seeing blemishes pop up or just, you know, having that bacteria. You want it, it kind of helps with your skin tone. So. That is the freshener. And then the next step is the eye care. So you, you might have chose the eye gel or the eye cream. Um, at night, I use the eye cream. In the morning, I use the eye gel. So that's just me personally. So I'm gonna show you, this is a, comes in a pump bottle. And I just use that amount, that's it. Um, use your ring finger and just um, dab it on there. You wanna do it on your eyelid and underneath your eye. I'm going to do both eyelids and then both uh, under my eye where this eye circles are, dark circles I mean. Um, and you can go out there to your crow's feet. You want to try to dab it as much as possible instead of like rubbing it so then you're not pulling the skin as much. Um, sometimes it's hard though. Sometimes I get in the habit of just rubbing it right in. So, but yeah, you can go all the way up to your eyebrows and um, with the eye gel, it will also help your eye lashes and your eyebrows grow. So for your eyelashes, eyelashes, just put it at the base of your eyelashes and then you can put it like right up on your, um, on your eyebrows if you want either of those to grow. That's with the eye gel. And then last step is the moisturizer. And so here's the green oil free and you just need a pea size amount because again, this is so concentrated, it just has, doesn't have any water in there as um, 
it has aloe as the first ingredient, so it's super concentrated. So you see, I'm just using a pea size amount and add a little bit of water if it doesn't have water. And I just added that little water there. I'm gonna mix that in and then just apply it. So when you apply it, try to go up as much as possible. You can put it on your neck and your earlobes because they wrinkle too. So that is um, your sample set. Now there is probably one more sample in there, the facial peel. And that one, um, you have to have a clean face to do, but you also have to have a dry face. So what I normally do, and don't waste any extra lotion, put it on the back of your hands. <laughs> um, what I usually do with the facial peel is do that in the morning. So if I've, I've cleansed my face and did my routine at night, and then the very next morning, um, before I cleanse is when I'll use that facial peel. And um, I can show you the full size. You probably saw this, but, um, and this is the full size trio back here. Um, the facial peel, as, as you probably saw at the conference, is that bright orange and you wanna use a Q-tip or something to get it out because the oils from your fingers can break down the product. But when you're in the morning, when you wake up, just put, um, some all over, just spread it, your face all over with it um, and let it sit for like 30 to 60 seconds. So you wanna have dry hands, dry face when you're putting it on and um, spread it all over, wait 30 to 60 seconds and then start rubbing your face in circles and then you'll start to see your dead skin come off. So you'll do that first and then continue on with your um, the rest of your samples like what we just did. Um, and these samples should last seven to 10 days using it morning and night. If you use it morning and night, you'll see the best results. So um, I'll be following up with you to see how it's going and if you have any questions. But thank you so much again for stopping by our booth and learning more about Labry and trying these samples out. I hope, um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope your skin is just super soft. That's, that's how mine is. So <laughs> I hope you're enjoying them and um, I'll be in touch soon.